Namaste. Welcome. Are there nights that you can't sleep? Times when the mind is so busy, thinking thoughts, ideas keep flowing in, and plans keep happening there, that even if the body is tired already, you know, your mind can't just stop thinking, you know, it's so restless, then this lesson might help you. All right. It's normal to feel that way sometimes, but there are ways to manage it. All right. So the lessons that I will be sharing with you, the technique, are all inspired by how I feel the energy inside as I go through absorption. I'm just translating them to something which is more realistic and accessible for you. And we will be using our hands. Our hands are so healing. All right. So before you lie down in your bed, you know, try to uh, recenter. Yeah, your your focus by using a technique called the um, Dhyana Mudra. All right, Dhyana Mudra is where you place your right hand over the left with your thumbs you know, lightly touching. Now you can do it on your bed, cross legs, well, whichever the hips and the low back feel like. If crossing the legs difficult for your low back, you can just straighten the legs forward, or you can use a pillow to support your legs all right if you're doing it on the floor such as this yeah you might want to do it with a wall behind you and have another support there and so you can rest your head and shoulders on all right and then your right hand over the left but and then just place your hands close to your hips with the shoulders relaxed now you don't have to regulate the breath here just breathe normally uh, just allowing the breath to flow itself and then feel it now, the Dhyana Mudra has this immediate effect to the nervous system. Right away you will feel it. It has this calming, soothing effect. And you might hear the breath, the sa, and the humming ha. Yeah. So maybe just a couple of minutes here. Yeah, when the low back feels the need to move, release it. Yeah. And after that, yeah, you do your lying down position. Yeah. So the, te the techniques or the ways that I will be sharing with you could be applied across the many uh, sleeping positions. The first technique is when we lie down on our backs. We will be doing something similar to the Dhyana Mudra with our hands, but it's not Dhyana Mudra. Um, I don't have a name for it, but I use it and it works for me. Let me come closer to the camera so you can see. All right, so the left hand facing down and the right hand over it. Yes. And then just allow your fingers to lightly fold over your left hand. Yeah. So in here, so the knuckles, yeah, the knuckles of the left hand touching uh, the palm of the right, so the fingers can fall over, and you hold on to your left hand. So the fingers, yeah, under your left hand. So like you're holding someone else's hand, and this is quite comforting, yeah, relaxing, and reassuring. And then, yeah, you're gonna lie down on your back. Of course, you're gonna cover your legs so you feel warm. Yeah, and then the right hand over left, and just place your hand. You know, depending on your proportion, yeah, you can move your hand closer to the hips or on your tummy. Now, where the shoulders can fully relax and the head can relax. Yeah, and then just level the head, and again, just breathe normally. You don't have to control the breath. You know, breathing in, you might visualize the sa, hear the sa inside your mind. Exhale, ha. And right away you will feel the calming effect of this technique. And if you find yourself sleeping in this position, just be. Your body will just move itself you know, as you go through your night. You, know, you don't have to worry about holding this forever. All right. If you prefer lying on the sides, <coughs> we're going to be using our hand too. Alright, so the bottom hand, you know, so the thumb will rest you know, between the space of your uh, eyebrows and then the base of the hand at the side, and we will lightly touch the tip of the nose, like this. Yeah. So like you're separating your right from your left channel. All right? And the sensation here of your thumb lightly touching the forehead and your hand, the base of the hand, you know, the edges of the hand to the side, lightly touching the tip of the nose. Yeah, it uh, has this way of uh, redirecting the flow of the energy to the midline. 
right? During the meditation, the right and the left hemisphere is the supreme with the force. So by allowing the sensation, by allowing the manifestation, the pulsation to accumulate here, uh, we stimulate the inner brain. Now where the pineal gland, the pituitary glands are located, which promotes the brain waves of uh, theta and the alpha for deep sleep, relaxation, and restoration. Like that. All right, so to apply that, when you're lying down on your side, whether right or left, so lie down on your side with a pillow supporting the head. You might want to have another one between the legs there, you know, so the low back can fully rest. And then just placing your hand over the pillow, level with the head, yeah, and then just yeah, do the technique, the gesture, thumbs between the eyebrows and the base of the hand close or touching the tip of the nose, like that. And then focusing on the sensation as your hand you know, touches your face. Yeah. So you meditate upon, not really meditating, you focus upon the T-zone of your face. This is the meditative region of our head, yeah, the letter T. From the tip of the nose to the forehead and across the right and the left temples. And then loosen the jaw, relax the teeth, and just breathe normally. Yes, um, so this gives you the same relaxing effect as the one where we uh, lie down on your back. Yeah, what if you lie down on your tummy? All right, when you lie down on your tummy, so you're gonna fold one knee in front and then the other leg and the arm extended behind you, you know, and then just folding the arm, the hand on top of each other, and then just rest your head on the floor on your bed, yeah, with the body flat, you know, like this. And again, breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. In here, your hands are forming like the Dhyana Mudra, yeah, but not really straight. Now, Dhyana Mudra is something similar. All right. And then focus on the warmth of your hands yeah, and the breath yeah, flowing in and out of your body. And after a couple of minutes here, changing sides. And then turn the head as well. For example, if you fall asleep in that position, just be. Your body will just move itself as you sleep through the night unconsciously. Yes, so those are really easy, you know, effective ways of uh, calming and relaxing the mind. I use them myself and they're helping me you know, find that uh, center. You know, because when the mind is so busy, it's uh, restless, yeah, it's all over the place. So all we need is to find that focal point where we can yeah, uh, rest your mind on and the hands and the sensations. And of course the breath, they will really help you. All right. Hope this one helps you. Let me know. Yeah, I'd be delighted to hear from you. See you next time. Namaste. Nice